Christy here from Sweet Girl Designs. I'm here today with a really quick tutorial on how to cut free printables using your Silhouette Cameo or other Silhouette machine. This was one of the main reasons I got my Silhouette and I got it way back in October and I just learned how to do this. So I know a lot of you are like me and you're a little bit hesitant or scared. <laughs> And that's okay it's really easy and I'm going to show you how so I love labels and I'm not sure if you know but there's a website caitlinshafer.com slash downloads and it has every color of label you could possibly ever want tons and tons of labels here okay they're all the same kind of layout set up and the steps that I'm going to show you are going to work for every label on this on this page uh, and there's also labels that I love from Studio Calico you do have to pay for those they're two dollars but you know what two dollars is gonna go so far so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna download the black ones just to show you and so I just click this and it just downloaded automatically you can also see that I have my Studio Calico labels here ready to go once I've downloaded those labels, I'm just going to close out this window and I'm back into my Silhouette software. So from here, I'm going to go to Open, Downloads, Caitlin Schaefer, Black, and I'm looking for the file that ends with PNG. Okay, so I'm just going to select that and go OK. And there they are. Okay. When I open that, you can see that this uh, icon with the arrows has been highlighted. If it's not highlighted, you can go ahead and highlight that. You may need to change your paper size to letter. Okay, so just change it to letter, and it's just eight and a half by eleven, right? That's what most home printers are going to print. I do not have a home printer. So I'm going to show you, if you do not have a home printer, how to save this as a PDF. You will then send the PDF to your local office supply store or your mom or whoever is going to print this out for you. And it's going to work exactly the same way as if you had printed it at home. Okay? So I have changed the page settings. My next step is going to be to turn on the registration marks. And that's the icon right next door. It's the piece of paper with the little marks in each corner. So I'm going to click that, set my type. This is based on what machine you have. So I have a Cameo, so I'm going to select Cameo. If you have a portrait, you're going to select, select Type 1 as well. And if you don't, you would get select Type 2. Most of us are going to select Type 1. Okay. And I'm also going to click Restore Defaults. Sometimes these margins and dimensions and stuff get messed up, so it's just easier just to make it a habit to click that button. It's not going to harm anything. It's going to make sure that your uh, machine cuts perfectly for you each and every time. Okay. So from there, I'm going to make sure that I do not have any images in these hash marks up at the top and at the bottom so I'm just going to slide my file down so that it is underneath the hash marks you will notice that some of my labels are outside of these cut lines that's not good either so I'm going to minimize this so that they are not touching the lines now I've had my machine since October I haven't done a lot with it. I've done a couple cut files from paper issues and I've done this. That's it. So I don't really know a lot about how to do things. I'm sure there's a way to uh, cut and copy and just use the labels that you know you're going to use. Personally, I don't love this star or these speech bubbles. They're too small to do any sort of writing in and I don't really like them. So I'm sure there's a way you could get rid of them and copy another row of, say, these four. 
I don't really know how to do that and so I'm not going to show you that part. I'm only showing you the cutting, uh, the print and cut at this time. Okay. If you have any tips, please let me know. So from here, I've just moved that down a little bit so that it's underneath the hash marks and I've minimized it so that it's in the red cut lines. Now you will notice that there are there's some images here in these hash marks that we need to get rid of. So I'm going to use the eraser tool and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just so that it's quick and quick and easy here. I'm just going to get rid of this just cuz I just I want to. And I'm going to get rid of this label. As I mentioned, you there is room there, so I totally probably could somehow copy another label and that would fit right in here, but I'm not going to figure that out today. All right, so we have it in there. Now we got to do our cut lines. So we're going to go to this green icon that's called the trace window. I'm going to select the items that I want to trace or want cut lines around. So I want them around all the labels. So I'm going to make sure that it's around all of the labels. And you'll notice that only some of the labels have been highlighted. So to ensure that all of our labels are highlighted, we're going to go down here to the scale and just turn it up until all the labels have turned yellow. Okay. From there, we're going to go to threshold. It's looking pretty good actually right now. You just want to make sure that uh, there's a solid line around all of your images. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit more just to be safe. Looks pretty good. Now these labels, some of them have an inner outline. Does that make sense? Inner line as well. We don't want multiple cut lines. So we're going to go trace outer edge and so it's only trace the outside of our labels. Now if I move this you'll be able to see my cut lines. They look pretty good. If I zoom in they look pretty good. Okay, This one down here this isn't really what the label looked like, but I'm okay with that. It's definitely going to cut it better than I could do by hand. So if we look at it, it's not bad, right? It's pretty similar. I'm going to go undo so that my PNG or black labels slide right back where they originally were. And I'm sorry that this is taking you on a little bit of a ride right now. <laughs> but if by going undo, I know that they're going to go back exactly where they were. Okay, so that's pretty much it for getting the cut lines. Pretty easy, right? So from here, I'm going to save it. This is saving it as a studio uh, file, Studio 3 which is fine because I'm going to need that when I go to cut because I'm for me I have to send this away to get printed and then come back to it and cut it right I'm not printing from here so I'm going to save it and uh, then I also am going to save it as a PDF so I'm going to go file print PDF save as PDF and I would give it a name right like I want because I'm gonna do all the colors I'm gonna save this as black labels it's very important that even though all the all all the label sheets look the same uh, you know the turquoise looks the same as the black it looks as the pink when you are minimizing it and doing the cut lines and the threshold and all that it's gonna get all out of whack so you can't use the black file when you're cutting the turquoise labels it's just not gonna work so make sure you make sure when you're printing the black labels you have opened your black uh, black label file for that okay so once you've had it printed, which you could definitely do if you have a home printer, and then go straight to cutting, uh, you're going to go to cut settings. 
you're going to want to make sure that it's on cardstock. When I printed at the local office supply store, I printed on a 65 pound cardstock and it was perfect. Perfect for what I'm using the labels for, right? So I select cardstock and then send to silhouette. When you print, or sorry, when you do go to cut, you want to make sure your uh, piece of paper is on your mat in this upper left hand corner, lined up perfectly. And then you're going to start. Now I'm not connected to my Cameo currently, so it's not going to work, but you know, you're just going to click start. It's going to cut it out and it's going to be beautiful. All right, I'm going to do one more for you. I really want to show you the Arendelle labels. So I'm going to go again to uh, open my downloads, Arendelle labels, and these ones have, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Okay, one second. Let's see. Here we go. It has two options for PNG. It has the blank labels and then it has uh, labels that have words in it and they're both really nice. So I'm just going to drag and drop the blank labels in and aren't those so nice. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up really quick. Uh, my page settings are already set. I'm on a letter size. I'm going to turn on my registration marks and you'll notice there's a lot happening here. I'm out of the red lines, I'm in the hash marks and I really like these labels down here and I'm going to lose out on a lot of them. So I'm just going to rotate this around so that the labels I love are at the top and I'm going to keep them. I'm going to minimize. Probably make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to erase anything that is in the hash marks or under that cut line. And there is some wording here, so I'm going to try and get rid of that too. If I had, oh, I could have kept that guy. Oh well. If I had some more time I would definitely just zoom in and get rid of all that but I'm gonna make this quick so I'm going to go to the trace window select trace area select all of that I gotta turn up the scale a bit so that all my labels are recognized turn up the threshold I can go a little bit at a time as well because if I go too far it looks like that and that's not good so I just want to make it so that I see a solid line around each label trace outer edge just double check they all look pretty good you can see there's that writing there so maybe I will get rid of that First, before that I do that, I'm going to get those guys back. There you go. Okay, so you can zoom in and get rid of all that stuff. This one is kind of out of the box there. So, see, I don't know how to do it. So, I'm just going to erase that guy. I'm sure there's a really simple way to move things. I just don't know. All right, so again, I'm going to save, I'm going to save as PDF, I'm going to send it to the cut, to cut settings, send a silhouette, and we're good to go. So I hope that answered any questions for you. Most important things, make sure there's nothing in these hash marks, make sure your images are inside the red cut lines, and make sure you can see a really nice solid line when cutting.
You don't want any gaps or anything. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions or, you know, if you need something explained. I'm going to leave a link to the video below uh, that taught me how to do this. So you can jump over there as well. She has lots of tutorials on about silhouette things. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped. Please be nice to me. This was my first tutorial. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.